Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. Finance Overview. Many consider the heart of Business Central to be its capabilities for managing finance. We can manage our payables and receivables, manage and reconcile our bank accounts, inventory cost, fixed assets, and close our income statement, and all for multiple companies. Business Central supports intercompany transactions as well as consolidation on the GL account level of all of our companies, giving us the true picture of our finances. Let's focus on the daily tasks of an accountant and how Business Central can help. We'll sign in and explore the Accountant Role Center, which provides a complete overview of our activities and the matters that need our attention. The Activities section contains tiles called Queues that show information about things like overdue purchase documents, the balance of our cash accounts, any approvals that are pending, and much more. We can choose a queue to dig deeper into the details behind it. Further down on the Roll Center, we'll find the Insights section. Here we have the My Accounts list, in which we can select the general ledger accounts that we want to keep track of without having to open the chart of accounts. We also have the Business Assistance section, where we can select graphs from a list of key performance indicators, such as cash cycle, aging reports, and so on. Further down, we can review the company's cash flow forecast and our report inbox, which contains the reports that we have scheduled to run. There's also the Power BI report section. We can display the dashboards we built in Power BI here. Back at the top of the role center, the navigation bar gives us access to all of our daily tasks. There's access to finance, journals, cash management, cost accounting, fixed assets, posted documents, and more. The finance menu includes links to the chart of accounts if we want to review or edit general ledger accounts. We can also access things like our VAT or tax statements, the currencies page, and account schedules. Additionally, if we want to start posting transactions to General Ledger accounts, we can open the General Journals page. If we need to post transactions related to sales or purchases, or if we need to set up recurring journals, we can do those things from the Journals menu. The Cash Management menu contains links that relate to cash and bank transactions. For example, we use the Cash Receipts Journals to post payments received from customers and the payments journals for issuing payments to vendors. With payment journals, we can also run the Suggest Vendor Payments Batch Job and let Business Central help identify which vendors to pay. We can also access our bank accounts and bank account statements and the bank accounts reconciliation page. To return to our role center, we'll just choose the name of the company. The Accountant Role Center puts information and access to accounting tasks in one convenient source. Thanks for watching.